Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Takeover coming back with another Bitcoin analysis video for you today. Bitcoin reaching all the way up to 17.7. Looks like we are finding uh, uh, maybe a little bit of a higher high here uh, as we are starting this video uh, as of right now too as well. So Bitcoin, we've been looking for these price targets all the way up to 18K and it looks like we are finally getting those price targets. So folks, uh, we're gonna dive on into the charts, take a look at some of the altcoins that we have uh, on our radar too as well. And uh, if that sounds interesting, go ahead and stick around and let's get started. All right, if you are brand new to the channel, we use the Market Cipher Indicator by CryptoFace alongside with the TI Sequential by Tone Vase and the Market God Buy and Sell Signal. If y'all want to check out a few of those paid for indicators that we use, you can check the links in the description box below. Uh, Market Cipher is our bread and butter, but once you click that link, you're helping support us and uh, I highly appreciate it if you do sign up for it. You can also become a reseller of Market Cipher if you'd like to as well. Uh, looking at the two hour time frame, looks like we still are getting a nice little bounce here. Money flow still looking really good. Even though it's thinning out, on our lower time frames taking a look at these higher time frames here money flow is still really really thick into the green uh, we've been bouncing off of our 21 ema here on our uh, 10 hour time frame too as well um, but these higher time frames are just looking extremely extremely bullish folks uh you know and i would not be surprised if we get a uh, a push all the way up to you know 18k uh relatively soon um it's definitely looking like that is possible um, but i wouldn't hold your breath just yet it does look like i got some of these higher time frames we could be seeing some red dots and i would not be surprised if after some of these red dots appear on these higher time frames we start to get a little bit of a sell-off as you can see last time i got a few red dots on cypher b we've started to have a little bit of a sell-off here so uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if once we get the red dot momentum kind of dies out just a tad bit um, that maybe we'll start to see a little bit of a sell off. So probably some resistance around the 18K area more than likely. Uh, that definitely looks like it could be in the works, but Bitcoin is still looking really, really good. Let's dive on into the dominance chart and the dominance chart is telling us that Bitcoin is probably ready to uh, push all the way up to 18K pretty soon too as well as we start to push through our resistance trend line here on our daily time frame and our two day time frames. Uh, let's take a look at our two day. M money flow is looking really, really healthy here too. I mean, um, as this money flow starts to thicken out and we start to see uh, money come back into Bitcoin dominance, we're definitely looking for a retest at that uh, 67 possibly, or even if we look at our two day chart, <clears throat> 68% uh, percent marker for the Bitcoin dominance, <coughs> excuse me. And so, this is uh, definitely a close, uh, going to be a chart to keep a close eye on too as well. As we start to push through this, it would definitely correlate with Bitcoin as well too. Now, I've also been saying that this is a great opportunity for us to buy in at our altcoins as well. I think altcoins are just going to um, leave people breathless, honestly, um, with the gains that these alts are going to be uh, making here in the next year or so. So as Bitcoin starts to uh, continue its dominance, we're definitely looking for some retracement probably by the end of the year um, and then maybe going on into 2021. I think it's going to be altcoin season, baby. And uh, these altcoins are definitely going to be skyrocketing from there. So, folks, uh, you know, obviously we have our Patreon page that you can sign up for. And uh, we talk about all the alts that we're going to be getting into as well as that we're dollar cost averaging into as of right now. And you can also see how we trade Bitcoin too as well. So if you want to join us on our Patreon page, feel free to find the link in the description box below. Um, and, you know, you'll get access to our Discord server and a bunch of other things too. So once you sign up, just message me and uh, I'll send you a uh, invite to Discord and then also... You can give me your Discord username. So, folks, let's jump on into some of these altcoins really quick. Bitcoin dominance. Actually, let's take a look at the DXY and see just how much the uh, dollar is selling off as of right now. Looking at our daily chart, it does look like we are breaking below some um, once resistance, now support lines. And uh, if we break below these support lines, it's not going to be too, too good for, uh, you know, the dollar index. Our four day is still looking rel relatively bearish. A nice deep cut down here on our four day chart too as well. Five day not looking too, too hot as of right now. But uh, we're going to keep a close eye possibly on our daily time frame. Daily time frame still looks like it needs to sell off a little bit more. Um, yeah, and even the 12 hour is still looking a little bit bearish there too, which gives Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies the opportunity to rise to its uh, fullest potential. Let's take a look at Litecoin. I do believe Litecoin has been seeing a nice bounce here. Uh, Litecoin is definitely on its way to some higher levels too as well. 
uh, you know, we, we've been calling for 60, 65, and then we were calling for possibly an even higher move uh, all the way up to the 89 time frame or so, or $89 area or so. Uh, so that's what we've been kind of looking at with Litecoin. Uh, but let's see if it's still in the works as of right now, our two day and our three day. Man, Litecoin is just looking really, really good, breaking through its all of its resistance lines here. As you can see on our three day chart, um, Litecoin has just been um, skyrocketing from here. And uh, I would not be surprised if Litecoin uh, comes up to retest $100 uh, um, pretty soon too as well. So Litecoin is definitely looking like it's probably ready to have its um, a nice potential run up here, uh, you know, maybe up to the hundred dollar area um, in, in, a, in a relatively manner of time, possibly coming back up to retest one of these highs up here at 130 or so. <clears throat> Things are looking really, really good. Um, money flow starting to thicken out here on some of our higher time frames. Um, but you know, once money starts moving back into these alts, it's it's the show's on the road, folks. The show is on the road. Let's take a look at XRP because I do believe XRP has been um, also making its way further and further higher too as well. I think it touched our price target at about thirty cents or so. Let's see if I can find our XRP to USD. Beautiful. So we were expecting a trend line retest all the way up here at about 31 cents or so. It looks like we are still on the way up to that 31 cent area, getting some buy signals here on our three day chart, our two day chart and our three day chart's gotten a buy signal too as well. Um, so I would not be surprised if we get more buy signals here um, on these higher time frames with our market guide indicator. Uh, it's definitely looking like it's probably ready to continue up further. Even though money flow is looking a little thin here, let's zoom out on the weekly time frame, see what's happening. You can see here on our weekly time frame starting to just now clip up into that green money flow. Um, so you know the Spark Air, the Spark Flare token is uh, going to be an airdrop for XRP. Um, I did put out a tutorial video on how to claim your Spark Flare tokens. If you're interested, you can find um, that on the channel as well. Uh, but folks, this is uh, looking really, really good uh, for XRP as well too. And uh, let's also take a look at maybe uh, Ethereum. Let's just take a look at Ethereum, see what's happening here with ETH. Uh, jumping on into the news, I did want to see if there was any altcoin news today. One thing I found very interesting was that uh, CNBC is talking about Bitcoin now. Uh, so I'd be a little bit cautious here, obviously, about jumping into positions because um, I do believe that this is the start of the hype train. Um, as we reach, uh, you know, 20K, I think that we're going to start to see a lot of these uh, major news uh, channel start to talk about Bitcoin and we all know what happens then it's a um, you know uh, sell the news basically so uh, get just get ready uh, for all these uh, major news stations to start talking about Bitcoin and then maybe see a little bit of a retracement then Grayscale now holds half a million Bitcoin they've been buying up Bitcoin like crazy uh, obviously a lot of people think that this has to do with PayPal and the surge and so I mean it could have a lot to do with it for sure all right, so I don't see really much about altcoins just yet. It does look like altcoins are taking their time and are going to arrive late to the party, but that is A-OK. -okay. Um, looking at Ethereum here on the weekly time frame, uh, still looks like it's got some nice moves there. Let's take a look at the daily, see where we're at. Still currently riding um, underneath our resistance line here at our purple trend line. It does look like we are having a nice little bounce here. Our daily time frame is uh, giving us a green dot. So we're looking for probably a $500 Ethereum here relatively soon. Um, two days giving us a red dot, but BWAP is still kind of moving sideways just a tad bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of sideways movement before we start to get our next leg up and probably once bitcoin starts to uh trend sideways for the most part we'll start to see ethereum also move right beside it too as well our 12 hours is looking really really good though actually so if bitcoin starts to move sideways um once it touches 18k or once it gets uh you know a little bit higher right now we're all the way up to 7 17 point uh, 76 wow i mean it does look like bitcoin is just ready to continue to take off um, and if we hit some resistance um, around the 18k area, then I do believe that it's going to be alt season or all the alts money is going to flow back into alts for the most part. Right. Um, but I believe that true alt season is going to be in 2021. And folks, if you if you want to get ready with us, uh, join our Patreon page, learn about what alts we're getting, um, how we're staking them, um, how we're trading 
these markets too as well and getting ready to gear up for these gains um, during altcoin season in 2021. Um, so I highly recommend that you join us. Um, and don't forget that we are on our way to 3,000 subs. We're doing a $100 giveaway and, uh, once we hit 3,000 subs too as well. So if you want to sign up for our giveaway, you need to sign up for our newsletter. Find the link in the description box below. And then with that being said, we also have our public Discord if you want to join us there. Um, obviously, to get access to the private categories, you need to become a Patreon member. Or you can join us in our Path to Cryptocurrency course and um, talk about different things here too. If you're brand new to crypto and you have no idea what we're talking about, I would highly recommend that you take a course. It talks about everything from what exchanges we use to um, how we swap out into different altcoins too as well um, and then how to store your crypto safely obviously right and what hardware wallets we use what software wallets we use um, so all those different things are talked about in the path to cryptocurrency course so highly recommend that if you're interested feel free to check it out and then also join us on our telegram announcements page if you want to stay up to date with us whenever we post videos highly recommend that uh, but folks, yeah, if you just really want to know about how we're trading this market, what altcoins we're using um, and get highly and, and accumulation of as of right now, Bitcoin at 17.8, dude, I'm telling you, it's probably going to um, definitely come back up all the way to 18K. And um, then we're probably going to see a little bit of retracement, but we are looking for 20K Bitcoin possibly by the end of the year for sure. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all on the next one. CTO signing out. Peace.